and welcome to my channel. This is Marianne from Marianne's Creative Space and I have part two of my massive unboxing from Paint Some Way. I have five or six projects to show you. I'm not sure which. Um, so yeah, grab a drink and a snack and I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell to let you know when I upload a video. And yeah, so let's get started. So just going to pile these up here. And hopefully I don't have an avalanche. These are all 11 count printed canvases and they are all in the cellophane bags so I apologise right now for any noise. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's just need these just a little bit. Okay, so the first design is this really cute kitten in cups or teacup, teacup cats. Very pretty and cute. It is a 50 by 50 centimeter, so 191 by 191. It has 50 colors. And the chart looks easy to read. You can easily see that. So um, doesn't look too confetti. There is a little bit there. Okay, the flowers, which are here, along the is confetti the rest is you know like this confetti but it's not too bad so yes a bit of block stitching as well okay so let's have a look at the canvas the canvas is overlocked and etched all the way around skinny border prefer a little bit larger border um, good stitching um, the canvas is hard so I'll show you a trick to soften your canvas you roll like this all the way to the end and then you you don't wring it like a towel but you do squeeze it like this and then you roll it the other way and again squeeze squeeze, squeeze. this breaks some of the printing starch that makes it so stiff and as you can see it's already much more pliable to use and these canvases soften up a lot in your hands anyway when you're stitching with your oils okay so let's have a look like I said there's confetti let's see if I can bring you in a bit okay there's confetti in this bit here where the teacups are i mean the flowers um but there's some block stitching as well this looks like a good combination of both i just thought it was very cute so let's just which way was this folded this way okay came with a toolkit and now all the toolkits come with a a printed P 
picture on them. These bags are really good for diamond painting or for storing needles or um, nails, <laughs> needle minders, and, I mean needle threaders, you know, all sorts of little things. Okay, so inside we've got a needle threader. We've got five needles in a pom-pom and a thimble. And today we have a fish. All the tool kits are exactly the same in these kits. So I'll just show you the tool kit, but I won't describe what's in them. And now the best part is the thread. Wow, these look like bright neon colours. There is no excess um, hanks. No spare hanks, I mean. Wow, these colours are very pretty. Lots of threads here. The threads are a good length. They're all a metre long. So these are 37 to 50. Got pinks and bright blues. Sea green see glass green into purples and a mushroom and I think that's a cream very nice and this side, this side has a lot of bright colors these colors look almost neon okay so this side we have beautiful range of purples here and then into like your Paler pinks, skin tones, we have the blacks, and into some blues and purples, reds, more purples, bright green, lime green. And then this side, we have a magenta and a red, a yellow, bright orange, fluoro orange, safety wear orange, I call that one. Um, blues, pale pink, more blues, a brown, a brick red or brick orange, burgundies, lime green, magentas and into rusts and peach. Nice colours, very nice. Okay, so that's canvas number one it on the bed. Canvas number two is this. I'll just take it out of the crinkle. Okay. We have a toolkit. This one too is a fish. Okay, this is the pattern. Very cute. Look at that cloth, isn't it adorable? So cute. <gasps> this will be fun to stitch. This is 40 by 50 centimeters and it's 148 by 191. Let's have a look. Oh, and I forgot to mention on the other one, but you've got the instructions with how to cross stitch. How to wash your fabric, any extra stitches you might need, though you won't in these 11 count kits because they're all full coverage or all the same stitch, which is cross stitch. I like to stitch these type of kits in six strands, tent stitch. Um, so that's six strands of floss per square in a tent stitch. It just goes faster and they still come out really nice. Okay, let's have a look at the pad. Ooh, lots of confetti. There's 44 colours in this. And cute little slot. A lot of background stitching. Like you can see here, there's a lot of same colour background, just where the fence palings are. But then in round the slot and the flowers, there's tons of confetti. We have 
tons of confetti. We have a bit of block stitching in the sloth, as you can see, but for the most part, very confetti. But that's okay, because it's going to get the details. Those eyes, look at those eyes. Okay, one last look. Look at those eyes. Isn't she cute? <laughs> she is adorable. Okay. Enough doing and ahhing and gargaring. Seriously. Okay. The canvas is etched. Uh, like I said, there's 44 colours in this design. The borders are a little bit bigger, which is good. But they could be a little bit bigger still. There's, um, it's uneven at the top here. So just be aware of well, I, I, it, well, on mine, it's uneven at the top. They've cut it really down quite a bit, actually. Yeah, there's that much difference. So um, that's okay. But we're slowly getting wider borders. I still prefer a two-inch border. But that's my preference. Okay, let's have a look. Like I said, very confetti. Very confetti. But though, I can make out her eyes. Um, where are they? I just saw them. Oh, yeah, there. With my fingers pointing, there's her face. So, you can make it a face. But there's going to be a lot of confetti in the flowers and butterflies. Like, lots of confetti. Lots and lots and lots of confetti. The printing is good. Everything's where it should be. In the squares. It's nicely printed, it's not too pale, it's not blurry, very nice. Okay, let's have a look at the gorgeous colours, because there will be lots of pretty ones. With all those blues. Okay, we have two extra skeins of 3865. I'll just check that the other one is. I mean, hanks of 3865. And these hanks have 40 threads in each, so that's 80 extra in this one. And all these colours are so pretty. Okay. Again, meter long threads, nice and long. Look at these teals. Blues. Like, matches my jumper. Almost identical. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Look at these colours. Very pretty. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I just um, have a chest infection that I'm getting over. Okay, so yes, these colours. I love this sea glass. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at the next card of colours. So pretty. These colours are gorgeous. Definitely summer. Jungly colours. So you've got all your like a dusky rose got a burgundy beautiful lime green margarita green more rose pinks blacks totes um i don't know what color i call that hmm the yellow green beautiful look at this green they're so pretty into more topes and browns and then you've got some beautiful like look at this beautiful beautiful threads and bright gorgeous colors blues for the butter um flowers and then if we flip oh wow look blues and pink a brown into some greens for your um, scenery look at these colors these aqua greens are beautiful so pretty into blues blue oh they're gorgeous and then we go into like a mauve 
and you some yellow very pretty very pretty palette <clears throat> definitely very summery look at that very summery palette very nice okay next one <coughs> Here's your toolkit. It has puppy dogs. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So there's your toolkit. I'm loving that they're printing the picture on the chart. <laughs> Crazy cats, colourful crazy cats, so fun. Um, this is a 40 by 53, 148 by 204. This looks like lots of fun. <coughs> okay, let's see what we've got in here. We have 40 colours in this design. Instructions on the design. <clears throat> Very easy pattern. A little bit of confetti. Not too bad. But a fair bit of box stitching too. Lots of fun. I actually do wish they would make um, these charts A4 size. Um, and if necessary have a few pages still with the same size chart but make a main four size might be just a little bit easier to handle if you need to refer back to the chart but I'm loving how big they are yeah so colourful pats <laughs> this will be fun to stitch all right let's have a look at the canvas again it's all edged very nicely um not, not too bad a border. Could do to be a little wider, but not too bad. It's all <clears throat> everything is where it should be. No blurry symbols from what I can see. Nice bright pattern. Like you can clearly see where the cats are. And down the bottom. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look at the threads. Oh, sorry, can't find the end. Yeah. Okay, we have one skein of, I mean, one hank of black. Let's have a look. Now, these colours are very, what I call, primary colours. You know, bright, super bright, dual tone primary colours. Gorgeous. These blues are so pretty, these teals. So, yeah. That's 37 to 40. Very nice. And then we have <clears throat> like a pale blue purple into some purples, a black, a grey, more purples. Epic red, more grey, more purples, hot pink, red, bright greens, oranges, and yellows. <clears throat> Definitely, if you love colour, this will be a chart for you. And if you like cats, or if you know someone who likes cats. So you've got your blues, your burgundies, your reds, blues, gold colour green magenta rust 
a blue. Yeah, getting to beautiful brights. If it's a dreary day and you need some colour, something like this would be fun to stitch. It's lots of colour, like lots of colour. Crazy amount of bright, bright jewel toned colours. So, yeah. Okay. All right. The next one. One. Oh, I just thought she was very pretty. Very pretty bell on the way to the ball. There is some writing, but I don't know how well that will turn out. Okay, ooh, very confetti. There's 42 colours in here. Um, let's see. Charge is nice and easy to read. Um, hard to see detail because of the confetti, but this is her face. In here is so there's her face in there. Um, background is checkerboard not a lot of block stitching in this one a little bit like in her hair like in her hair but not a great deal of block stitching so this one's going to be a bit more confetti but isn't that pretty I love the roses going around this side like in the arch very pretty okay let's have a look at the chart I mean the canvas again it's etched um, and again they've not cut it straight like you've lost quite a bit of the of the bottom edge um, yeah so you now they need to make these borders bigger that would make it a lot easier to put into hoops and frames especially if you're working in the corners if you stitch in hand, well, then it wouldn't bother you. But if you use anything like a hoop, a frame, or a Q-snap, then it is a little awkward. The printing looks nice and clear. Lots of, like I said, lots of confetti. But nice, easy to see chart. I mean, canvas. So, yeah, very nice. Okay, let's check out Belle's colours. There'll be a lot of okay. We have a spare hank of three seven four four. That could be skin tone, that could be background. Wow. There's a lot of neutrals in this, like a lot of mushroom colours. So yeah, you've got your like your brick, like a terracotta, a teal, a gold, purple, some beigey brown, light brown. You know, for a hair and the background. Like this is a very neutral palette. This one, very different from the last one we just looked at. Okay. Colours are very pretty. So again, we've got our skin tones into the reds. For the, sorry about the sun. It keeps going in and out, in and out, in and out of the clouds. It's just so with bright and dark, bright and dark. So yeah. And my blind is shut. So yeah. Um, hopefully you can see. So yeah. <clears throat> 
Neapolitan colors. <laughs> yep. And yeah, some bright pinks, some greens, peaches, olive green. Yeah, very neutral. Other than I would say the colour for her eyes and the roses, the rest is all mushrooms, mushroom colour. Again, very nice long threads. And lots of them. So that's again. Okay, we are up to the lucky last. How are you all doing? Make it through. please comment which one is your favorite out of the ones I've shown today do you own any of these charts would you like to have any of these charts do you know of anyone that would like any of these kits um, the links will be in the description where from paint some way I'll link a, a general link to paint some way and each product link okay so this one is absolutely absolutely gorgeous um, it's 60 by 40 centimeters 234 by 148 wide and this is the picture autumn fairy autumn is my favorite season but look isn't she gorgeous she's very pretty so she's going to have a lot of autumn toned colors yeah, she's gorgeous Oh, there's another fairy down there. This will be good. Okay. This is um, a wider, more wide than it is long. This has 42 colours. Wow. Um, not going to see much. Okay. We have, you can see the tree. You can see her wings. Oh yeah, you can see her. And there's another tree in there. A lot of confetti. Very little block stitching except in the tree. Oh, and, and a little bit in the background. But to get the detail of the little animals and the leaves, yeah, you can have a lot of back, um, colour changing. So. Very nice. Yeah, that's what she looks like again. She's so pretty. Okay, it came with a toolkit fish. Let's look at the canvas. <clears throat> Edged all around. Again, they've cut uneven on this side here. They've cut quite a bit off the top there. Not a biggie, but it, when your borders are this small, you really, it, it, the straight of cutting would be better. <laughs> Nicely printed though. Every, every symbol is where it should be. So this is, you can clearly see the tree and, them, and this is where I think she is. There's her wings. Yep, you can see it in the camera view. So she's going to turn out really nice. Then we've got the, this half, which again, you can see the huge tree and not much else. <laughs> yeah, she'll be gorgeous. She'll be fun to stitch all these colours. Let's have a look at these autumn toned colours. You know, it's funny. Autumn is my favourite season. I love stitching 
autumn but my favorite colors are purples blues and teals I like the brighter colors not weird okay we have some brown Hanks 938 chocolate brown and 3371 which is your dark dark brown there you spare Hanks okay. and here here's your browns grace there's some blue what's blue See. Oh, her scarf. Her scarf is blue. I don't know if you can see that. Hey, it's got focuses too. Yeah, her scarf is blue. Very nice. Just adds a touch of colour. So, the, of course, you've got all your browns and this is blue. And then we have these beautiful autumn colours. <clears throat> okay, we have some blue, browns, blacks, blues, watermelon colour, you know, orange toned browns, reds. Brighter, warm reds like a tomato red, yellows into some greens, like definitely autumn toned, absolutely autumn toned. If you love autumn toned colours, stitching these colours, if you love autumn, yeah, look. Bright oranges, like the colours are gorgeous. They're very warm. Very nice. Yeah. So, that's that one. And this is, you know, what all the colours. Like, it's a very warm palette to stitch. Like I like stitching forests and trees and so this one's going to be a fun one to stitch. Well, that's everything for today. I hope you have liked this video. Again, I'm going to ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, if you know of anyone, just watch this noisy car goes past. Okay. If you know of anyone that would like to my content please share my video as well and yeah I look forward to seeing you in my next video and until then have a good day and have a good week okay bye